Do you know anyone that has faced financial insecurity during the past few months? While some pet shelters are celebrating seeing all of their surrendered animals get adopted, there's no denying the, the fact that the amount of pets surrendered during the past few months has increased greatly due to financial insecurity. Hello, I'm Greg Herring with Pet Once Fort Wayne. Pet nutrition personally delivered. We have a program called the Pet Gives Back. A customer has the opportunity to gift a pound of Pet Wants food to a local nonprofit, and we will match that pound. With this program, your five pound gift turns into a 10 pound gift. I'll get back to that in a moment. Today, I'm here to raise awareness for Fort Wayne Pet Food Pantry. Fort Wayne Pet Food Pantry gives free pet food to people with financial insecurity no questions asked, no documentation needed. But what does this mean for the community? It means less pets surrendered. It means less load on local shelters. But on a more human level, it means that someone who's isolated doesn't have to face the decision of surrendering, surrendering their pet, their sole source of companionship. It also eliminates the choice of buying pet food versus paying rent, versus paying utilities. When you eliminate that choice, it allows people the freedom to pay their bills a little more evenly, but it also ripples throughout the community because when those funds are freed up, it allows people to support other local businesses. I think we can all learn a little bit of a lesson from what Fort Wayne Pet Food Pantry does. Their small gift of giving free pet food to people with a financial need has a ripple effect throughout the community, much like dropping a stone in the water. And we can use that as a reminder to ourselves, any act of kindness that we do for someone else has the chance that it may ripple far beyond that small act that we do for someone. Since COVID started, Fort Wayne Pet Food Pantry has added an additional 70 distribution days above what they were regularly doing previously. They've added three new pop-up locations for distribution to better serve the community. And since the start of COVID, they have served over 40,000 pounds of pet food at no cost to those in need. So today I'm asking you to vote for my program, The Pat Gives Back. If I receive the most votes, every bit of the grant money will go into the Back Pat Gives Back program to buy pet food for the Fort Wayne Pet Food Pantry. And as I discussed earlier, that also means that Pet Wants Fort Wayne will match that and effectively double the value of the grant money, all to go towards the retail value of pet food for the Fort Wayne Pet Food Pantry to help aid in their valuable service to the community. Please consider a vote. Thank you.